So there are two main types of lasers. On one hand, you have the non-ablative lasers, and on the other hand, you have the ablative lasers. Now, these two types, two broad categories of lasers really do exactly what they say they're gonna do. The non-ablative lasers do not damage the skin itself. The ablative lasers do. They ablate or destroy parts of the skin, and what parts of the skin they, they damage depends on what problems that we're looking to treat. So let's talk about the ablative lasers now. And in a surgical practice, ablative lasers really are the workhorses. They get the best results of any of our other laser technologies when it comes to treating a problem that we see. Again, maintenance, the non-ablative technologies do a great job, but for treatment, you know, treating fine lines, moderate lines and wrinkles, even deep lines and wrinkles, treating thinning skin, treating surgical scars, there really is no better option than an ablative laser. There are two categories of ablative lasers that are important for you as patients to know about, and those are the fractionated ablative lasers and the non-fractionated or full field ablative lasers. And we'll talk about each one of these. So fractionated ablative lasers are just what they sound like. They only treat a fraction of the skin at a time. So you can think about them if you've ever seen a golf course or a yard that gets aerated, where they make those little holes so that they can fertilize the, your lawn, a fractionated laser works very much the same way. It uses laser light to make millions of microscopic little channels in the skin that go down into the dermis or the under the second kind of deeper layer in the skin and let your body produce collagen to help remodel the skin surface. That's why you can see thickening in the skin. That's why you can see remodeling of scars and improvement in fine to moderate wrinkles because what those wrinkles are are just like pleats in a, in a wrinkled shirt. It's a result of things getting thin and wrinkly. And if we thicken that up, a lot of those lines can improve. Downtime with a fractionated ablative laser is typically limited to redness and swelling. And kind of like with the full field lasers, the deeper and more aggressive we are, the longer that redness and swelling is gonna last. Typically, for, for most of our treatments, you can figure between three to five days of, of noticeable redness and swelling. Um, and most of that you can wear makeup for the ladies to cover that. On the other hand, the second category of ablative lasers are full field lasers. And these are good for much more severe lines and wrinkles and severe textural or pigment problems. A full field laser is exactly what it sounds like. It treats the entire surface of the skin during a course of a treatment. If we're sticking with our landscape analogies, this is like mowing your lawn. And the more aggressive we get with our full field ablative laser, the lower and lower and lower and lower we make the deck of our lawnmower to the ground. With light or superficial treatments, that's like kind of taking the tops off the grass. With very deep or aggressive treatments, it's the equivalent of taking it down to the dirt and then laying sod down on top of that. So, and we can, and we can adjust the, our treatments anywhere in between. Typically, that adjustment comes with a discussion between you and me of what we're looking to treat, how aggressive you want to be, but then how much downtime you want to, to deal with after that treatment. If we're doing superficial treatments, you can guess maybe a day of just some light peeling, maybe some pinkness. If we're going down deep, kind of where we're laying sod down, that's four or five days you're not going to want to leave the house. Um, the recovery is pretty 